The fountain pen. What are some of the pros and cons of drawing with the fountain pen? Let's start with some of the cons of this pen. One of those would be leaking. If you're carrying this pen in your pocket and if it starts leaking, due to the fact that this pen can carry a lot of ink, you're going to get a lot of ink in your pocket, which is going to spill everywhere. The second thing that is, could be a con with one of these pens or a bad thing is that depending on what pen you have, some of them um, could have a flex nib, other ones don't. Now, if you're a beginner, you're going to want something that does not have a flex nib. If you're not very experienced with drawing and you want something that has a consistent line, then you're better off with a nib that does not um, flex, one that is like this here, which does not flex at all. Another thing about fountain pens is the upkeep. Um, with fountain pens, you have to constantly make sure that the ink does not dry up inside of them. You have to make sure that if you do put new ink in this, that um, you either use up all the ink that is currently in the pen, or you then um, make sure that you empty the ink that is in here into another bottle that you can then save later on before putting new ink in it if you're using ink that is different or of a different color. Another thing is that um, the cost. The cost up front of these pens is going to be more expensive than what you're going to get with uh, a typical pen such as a ballpoint or maybe something like a gel pen or um, any of those type of pens. But let's talk about some of the good things about this pen. Now, the good things about this pen would be that they're refillable. You can put different colors of ink in the reservoir. And the one that I have here, which is the Lamy Safari fountain pen, um, it's got a little converter that, well, you actually have to buy the converter for these. Um, so that actually could be one of the cons of some fountain pens is that you might have to buy a converter for it to work. Although these pens here come with cartridges that you can buy. I find that getting the converter and filling it with ink in the long term is much more cost effective and will save you a lot more money than if you were to um, keep buying cartridges. Although more convenient, you're going to save more money in the long run, which goes back to what I said about um, using ballpoint pens or um, gel pens. I mean, ballpoint pens are so expensive, you can draw with them for a long time, but I would say something like a, a fine liner or maybe uh, a Sharpie, or some other pen that um, is expensive, but you have to replace them often. So in the long run, they end up being a lot more expensive than if you're using something like this fountain pen here. Now the converter, I just take that, I put it in ink, and then I twist the convert this uh, here, and then the ink fills inside of it. So another good thing about these is that these come in a more variety of sizes than what you would typically get with um, cheaper pens like a ballpoint or a gel pen. And also with these pens, they all have different designs on them. You can get some that have um, like decorative designs carved into the uh, pen. They come in many different colors. Um, another good thing about these pens is that with the ink, you can get all different various kinds of ink for these pens. And you can get red, blue, green, pretty much any color you can think of you can get with these. And you can find all these different colors online at different sites that sell the ink. You can buy the ink in large bottles and um, you can buy a huge amount of it, which is going to be very expensive up front. But if you do a lot of drawing like I do, it's going to save you much more money in the long run. Another thing is that the nibs don't really wear out on these like you would have with a Typical pens such as maybe possibly a gel pen or um, more so along the lines of drawing with something like a Sharpie or drawing with something such as, uh, let's say, a technical pen or a fine liner um, or maybe a micron. Those types of pens, the nib on them will wear out eventually. So there are ways you can refill some of those, but the problem is that the tip of the pen on the um, fine liners or on the technical pens such as the microns are going to wear out so even if you're refilling the technical pens over and over to save money on ink then the tip of the pen is going to wear out so that is another advantage of having um, one of the fountain pens like this 
is that the tip isn't going to wear out. I mean, unless you're drawing so hard that you press on the surface to the point where it snaps. Um, it's more convenient, I think, in that you're saving a lot more money long term. Um, you can use different colors, different nib sizes. You can get flexible nibs, non-flexible nibs. You can get ones that are different colors, um, different designs, different brands. And um, you, you can get some that have like this to where they have a tripod grip to them, um, which can be more comfortable than a lot of pens that might be rounded. And that's one of the reasons I like drawing with this Lamy Safari fountain pen is the tripod grip on it that helps me when I'm drawing to hold it in one position, especially if it's you know, really hot out and my hands start getting sweaty. So what are some other things that I think are some pros about this pen? Well, one of the things is that some technical pens um, or ones that you have might not have a little um, window here where you can see the reservoir. A lot of fountain pens, especially if you get the clear ones, um, but most of them allow you to see on the inside of the pen to where you can see the ink inside so that you know how much ink is in there. Um, another advantage is that you get to pick your ink which means that you can even have inks that you draw on the paper and you don't see the writing until you put it under a certain type of light and then you can see the, the writing in that light. Um, so what is another one? I think another one is that with these pens, you're able to draw at more angles than you can with other pens. For example, if I'm, I'm doing a drawing, I can hold this pen uh, more upright or I can hold an angle I can even hold it um, really far back like that. All it needs is me touching the pen, um, the very nib of the pen on a surface, and I'm getting the line. Whereas other pens, due to the ball of the pen or the tip of the pen, requires the pen to be more upright so that the ink will flow. Um, and because of that, those pens don't have as much ink in it. So there's not as much weight of the ink pushing down to help allow the ink to flow through the barrel and to the tip of it as well as what you would get with a fountain pen. And because of that, then when you're drawing, you are forced to draw in a certain position rather than drawing things at different angles. Another advantage could be that uh, these come with caps that are a lot larger than what you're going to get with other pens. And um, you can you know, post it on the back of it, which can help you with the balance of the pen, um, which can be useful depending on how you're drawing. And another is that some of them have a very large clip on them. So if you want to clip this onto your shirt and use it um, or carry it anywhere, or maybe put it on your sketchbook and clip this on the side of it, these come with um, larger clips than what you're going to get with a lot of uh, cheaper pens, such as maybe a uh, technical pen, like maybe a Micron or possibly a ballpoint pen or a gel pen. So you get better clip, more ink, different colors, um, a nib that's not going to wear out. You get a pen that's going to last a lot longer. So I think overall, if you're wanting to draw for a long period of time, um, you're probably going to be better off getting a fountain pen than you would be trying to draw with uh, gel pens or something like that. Um, but I mean, gel pens can have their use in ballpoints if you don't have the pen with you, such as times that I've been uh, somewhere at an office waiting or something and I want to do a drawing, but I don't have a pen with me. I just get a ballpoint pen. But overall, I think um, drawing with fountain pens is very convenient. And do let me know in the comments below what you think are some of the pros and cons of having a fountain pen. And um, why you prefer a fountain pen, or maybe you prefer something else, like a technical pen, or a roaching isograph, a ballpoint, a gel pen, a sharpie, a, a marker, or anything else. Let me know in the comments below. Um, what you like about fountain pens and some of the things that you don't like about fountain pens and we can talk about that but for now give us a video like if you want to share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and always have fun doodling out there and let me know which type of pen do you prefer to drill with fountain pens or other pens and why that is